Alright, what's up, Yens guys? I'm gonna make a quick video since um, I uh, had this one guy who was a commenter on one of my videos, and I decided sometimes when I get certain commenters, you know, uh, I don't want to look like I'm against freedom of speech, you know, I don't want to have double standards like everybody else has freedom of speech for you and for me and not you and all that stuff like I accuse everybody else of so um, what I do sometimes is depends on what mood I'm in I'll have certain commenters sometimes I'll give them a, a one line or statement or just have the whatever attitude or or right back at you or yeah and I'll answer their question and I'll say by the way fuck you but um sometimes certain kind of people with a certain kind of attitude I'll make a few statements just to fuck with them a little bit and see if I can agitate them because uh, I'm kind of um, I understand how trolls are because you know I was one myself you know I mean so I try to make videos complaining about trolls and all that and I can't really in good conscience do it be the only thing I uh, criticize trolls for is I say some of them are doing it wrong you know what I mean because there's a lot of like myself consistent trolling but me I still do it in certain places because uh, I'm more like one of those um, a rather unique type of uh, human rights watchdog which uh, there's a lot of them out there but um, I don't really see enough of them and I wanted to say a few things I never got around to to state my position so I uh, the uh, stomp on Jesus and the uh, atheism versus Christianity thing and I wanted to outline people's basic rights and explain why I am the way I am okay and um, you yeah, know first of all I mean I'm looking at atheists and Christians and um, different kind of beliefs and all that and I in indicated in my videos and a lot of comments that I've made on other people's videos that I hate a, l a little bit of all of you and then at the same time I make comments indicating that I stick up for some of you too on each side and I want to explain this and maybe I should actually say this to all the other people that have have patience with me and actually have whatever reasons they subscribe to my channel for well, some of them probably subscribed, you know, for a lot of the other different music and different things that I post on here, you know what I mean? Uh, if you do want to state the reason why you subscribed, good or bad, go for it, you know what I mean? But anyway, here, here goes. If you're an atheist watching or if you're a Christian watching, here's your basic rights, okay? And this is the best way I can explain it. I mean, compared to the, first of all, atheism, compared to the kind of atheism I can't stand, which I accuse some of it of being just like religion, you know, if it gets too big, wants to come and tell me what to think. Like I says about the stomp on Jesus thing, um, if you can pick and choose the kind of, the uh, image of Jesus you want to stomp on, and there is a couple of, um, images of Jesus that there's so many out there that people have created that you would want to stomp on but I ain't gonna have somebody in some class order me and tell me to stomp on Jesus or any more than uh, I'm gonna have uh, somebody on the other side you know tell me to stomp on this or that the whole deal is I decide not you so people's rights um, I, in, I respect people's rights. I get, want to be an atheist. They want to isolate themselves. They don't want to be told what to do. They don't want religion stuffed on their throat, okay? And they want to be left alone. To me, that's some of the atheists on there. That's what it should be about. And I've seen a few on YouTube. Some of them I uh, tune in and listen a little bit because they're funny. And then there are other ones I've seen on YouTube that want to be leaders of the people and have an enforcement arm and tell people what they can and can't think which is just a counter attack to the religious people they don't like I mean they're both people that are like it okay so I don't have to give a shit about any other atheism other than your uh, 
typical atheist that just wants to be left alone. I respect that. And there's a type of Christians I stick up for, too, which maybe they don't force it down people's throat. They want to isolate themselves and their families from uh, the kind of evil in the world, which, I mean, I've seen some atheists that actually have a, some ideas, about, good ideas about how the world is getting with religion put aside. And there's the other ones that want to stick up for every low life, you know what I mean? Um, there's a little bit of everybody that's doing that. That's why you have the atheist left and right and the religious left and right that are so far over to one side and far, so far to the other. I mean, whether you're an atheist or a Christian, I respect the idea that you want to be what you want to be and be left alone. I mean, you, some people use religion to isolate themselves from an evil, which there's nothing wrong with. You want to stay away from, at the very least, and you don't want it around you. And if somebody's talking a certain kind of way of profanity or overly lewd stuff and wants to force certain things down your throat, yeah, they can do it, but you don't have to listen to it. I understand that. But then the kind of people that want to be the police and shove it down your throats. And I think there's both sides. Uh, whether you're an atheist or a Christian, they want to, there's d particular individuals and groups that want to use uh, psychiatrists and make, they want to make the psychiatrists to be also the police and have the army and the police like an enforcement arm if they can and have you locked up for whatever because they think that they're morally superior there's both sides that are like us so what I'm trying to actually say is uh, I uh, respect both sides if they wanna be left alone and not force it down anybody's throats but uh, the one guy that was a commenter uh, that actually commented with me and all that um, well, I do admit he kind of called me on a thing that I used a video response to a video like I put there are some people on YouTube that let any video response be on there without approval. And um, I got so many videos um, the sub on a certain subject matter he questioned the relevance with the stomp on Jesus. Well, well, sometimes you got so many videos I thought I had one of my videos that I was talking about the stomp on, on Jesus. And uh, he says, what does the stuff uh, about Aleister Crowley have anything to do with? Well, I had so many videos. One of the videos was supposed to have a little segment where I talked about that. But uh, I think I listened to that one video. I'm like, all right, I'll give him that. I kind of posted the wrong video because I got a couple with similar titles. But then he's all attacking me and saying, uh, you don't listen to the relevance of the video in there. Oh, why am I doing my silly exercises in the corner talking about... Uh, uh, this and that. Well, I evidently, either he knows damn well, uh, or he really didn't listen to the whole video. See, my attitude is um, just simple like this. Um, uh, I, I always preach the only God or only, only uh, authority that I have to care about is the one that's stronger than anybody that sticks their finger in my face and tell me what I better do, that I that are tired of my mouth and I better shut up. And I am uh, one of those people that uh, are encouraging other people that want to be left alone to train, to uh, resist any type of intimidation. If somebody wants to intimidate you into something or intimidate you out of something, and not so much to go around hitting on people and beating on people for every little thing they say, but if they usually it's just a walk you should it should be to primarily so you can just walk right away from people cocky or or whatever and be cocky about it and then if they go to put their hands on you, then um see what happens after there but basically, I am preaching no matter what you are a Satanist, whether you are a atheist, if you're the atheist that wants to just be left alone and not have religion forced down your throat, and if you want to be the Christian for uh, isolate yourself from evil and not force it down on people's throat either way, that um, I preach that most everybody else with their uh, heavily funded or their big clicks, they get big clicks and then they want to tell everybody else what to do. And to a point where if you're an atheist or a Christian, 
your fellow atheists and Christians will actually start pushing you around because if you're not in a clique and maybe some of your ideals are better than a little bit better and you don't want to there's some bullshit that you don't want to participate in put it that way uh, that's my hope, whole point and that's what I'm advocating advocating the whole uh, damn time and his idea telling me okay oh I like the way he put it up uh, I'm laughing like silly exercises uh, what's the point of my silly exercises in the corner well geez it should be a no-brainer to a lot of people I think he knows damn well he's just being sarcastic he knows damn well um, but I think that um, he might be one of them atheists that are just like some of the other people on the uh, the religious left or whatever the heck but the atheist version of the atheist people that are out to the far left uh, I guess who his translation I'm translating this for him for you people it's like oh who the hell do you think you are uh, um, everybody knows that maybe you shouldn't just uh, be doing all that stuff I mean that's just for people that are on TV those wrestlers or those people that are in a boxing ring who the, who the hell you think you are some person that that's all training so that you can uh, sit there and be all cocky and all that I mean he's one of them people that uh, probably uh, think that you only have a right to train any kind of a way you shouldn't have a gun and and with guns out of the picture there's he's one of them people uh, that think that you only not only you shouldn't have a gun but you shouldn't really be allowed to do any kind of training except if you're a marine or the police otherwise what do you uh, think you are I mean you're actually he'd be one of them people if if you're actually training for anything for any reason and you're not the police or you're not like a marine like if you're not some enforcement arm that they want to use to tell you what to do then you're some kind of thug or potential terrorist or potentially criminally insane or whatever you know what I mean but alright I'm gonna end this video by uh, stating that um, I'm in support of and I'm I'm an advocate of the part of the right to bear that uh, is the most neglected and it's the type of uh, the right to bear arms that uh, you have a right to have guns or no guns whether you have guns or not and um, and people that don't like it can you hear this you want me to turn it up <sighs> that's what it's about so I believe that uh, you don't need a not just about guns I guess as if they take away guns you know it's like a subject of a whole other video uh, but that's what people start to, that's they want to do that already they want to whether it's the atheist uh, one side of the atheists and then one side of the Christians and all that that have this extreme beliefs and everybody else with their uh, special interest groups you got the ones that are the extremists that they want to actually uh, that's what that's what they're gonna start going after next the ones that think they're morally superior over you they want to go after uh, uh, your uh, why you're physically training too and they want to start flagging people and they want to belittle and intimidate them out of it and uh, but it's not gonna happen just try